wanted the entire time for everything to work out. Yes. I, I wanted, I just had hope. I just had the biggest hope. Uh, she said she was staying in, but she ended up going out. Um, unfortunately, she get she got a DUI on Saturday night. Okay. We, it just kept under wraps for a while, which I was happy about because I needed to process through it. It was a yeah. lot for me. You called me yesterday. We talked for a while. And I was shocked because I've never known Shannon to ever, ever, ever drink and drive. It looks like Shannon Bador was whooping it up a bit too much recently. The Real Housewives of Orange County star was arrested for an alleged hit and run, which reportedly resulted from drunk driving. What a star! Naturally, this news took the Bravoverse by storm. The endless web of fan accounts and podcasts sprung into action, turning the news story into content. Podcast episodes, hot takes, and of course, memes. Some demanded an emergency sit-down between Bador and Housewives reunion host Andy Cohen. Her co-star and friend Tamara Judge cried on her podcast about the shocking incident. I'm literally shaking right now, she said. I feel like I'm going to throw up. But is it really so shocking? Bador's arrest is the latest in a long line of alcohol-related legal issues on the Housewives franchise. Her co-star, Gina Kirschenheider, was arrested in 2019 and charged with a DUI. I, I have to tell you, I don't want to start to cry, but... Yesterday was a really, really hard day for me. And I have done actionable, I've done things that were they could come after me legally. It's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> everyone wants to know, and I'm sure you're getting this asked all the time, is have you spoken to Shannon since the DUI? Uh, Shannon Bedore will not. Uh, she has canceled Friday for obvious reasons, if you've uh, you read. Elsewhere, there is hardly a housewife show where at least one of the cast hasn't been drunkenly arrested. Even when reality stars stay within the confines of the law, there are still times where drinking goes too far. Since Bador joined RHOC in 2014, we've seen her drunk many times, doing shots on cast trips, at parties or group events. Drinking has been a key part of her brand on the show. This season, her tagline is, In Orange County, I call the shots and it's always tequila. Most of the time, this has seemed harmless, but Bador's castmates have frequently wondered whether she has an issue with alcohol. This season, one of the central storylines has been the cast's frustration at Bador habitually calling them while drunk to vent about her relationship with former boyfriend John Jansen, then not remembering what she has told them in the sober light of day. Her castmates made a joke out of this on the show, but in hindsight, it's a pattern of behavior that seems more concerning than entertaining. Both have discussed previously. I won't have one drink, and I just Uber everywhere now. Wanted the entire time for everything to work out. Yes, I, I wanted. I just had hope. I just had the biggest hope. She wasn't a good mother. That that was never the case. So I apologize for that. But um, you uh, seeing her date tonight with John Jansen, knowing that he dumped her. Details and specifics. In September, Bador had a run-in with a house of all things and came off worse for wear. According to law enforcement sources, Bador had driven her car onto a residential property in Newport Beach, California on Saturday night, September 16, and even clipped the house. She was clearly out of control, and the poor house paid for it. Insiders have revealed the RHOC star, 59, had gotten behind the wheel of her sedan after having dinner and drinks with friends at local eatery before heading to Jansen's home and at some point crashing her car just a few yards away. Shannon Bador was zooming around his residential street moments before slamming her car into the side of a house, according to insane footage of her alleged DUI incident. Bador was hightailing it around a Newport Beach, California street just before midnight, when, based on the video, she seemed to have misjudged a corner, careened out of control, and crashed into the home. Almost immediately, Bador threw her car in reverse, getting off the sidewalk and back onto the street before slowly pulling away. I am uh, happy to say that she is, uh, she's gonna be entering uh, counseling this week. A lot of times Shannon would would open up to me because she knew that I understood. Uh, she said she was staying in, but she ended up going out. Um, unfortunately, she'd get, she got a DUI on Saturday night. I saw last episode, you stormed off. Um, we worried about a big secret that had to do with your relationship with John. Mm -hmm. There was loads of damage left behind from the accident. A concrete planter was crumbled after taking the brunt of the impact, and there was a huge skid mark on the road. It also looked like Bador barely missed the front door of the house, which likely would have caused even more damage, 
and potentially injured someone inside the home. Bador eventually parked in the middle of the street, getting out with her dog. Bador, who reportedly appeared wasted, tried to play it off as though she was taking a walk. Police saw right through the act and didn't buy it. Shannon was arrested and booked for hit and run and DUI alcohol, both misdemeanors, and was cited and released without bond. The reality star's car was also seized by cops to aid in their investigation into the damage done to the home she allegedly hit. Uh, she was also in a car accident. Oh, gosh. She was uh, injured, um, so she's going to be recovering. Yeah, and when that happened, you know, it got to John right away, and so he was upset. For their carelessness. So now what do we do? What do you? Don't, because people are like, oh, she needs rehab. Oh, she's an alcoholic. I don't. I don't think Sarah, uh, I don't think Shannon is an alcoholic. Cause for concern. Bador's arrest comes on the heels of a difficult year for the Bravo Liberty, who previously revealed she was blindsided by longtime boyfriend John Jansen's decision to end their relationship back in January. Leading up to the split, the star was also beefing with many of her RHOC co-stars, as fans can see on the currently airing season of the Bravo show. She is ashamed, she's embarrassed. We're on friendly terms right now, and I'd rather not be living in anger. He called me yesterday. We talked for a while, and I was shocked because I've never known Shannon to ever, ever, ever drink and drive. There are rumors going around that the two might have gotten into an argument on the night in question. Though Jansen broke his silence in an exclusive interview with DailyMail.com just a day after the two were spotted arriving at Bador's house together. We are friends. I care about her, he said. He also denied that the two had had a fight the night of her arrest, adding, I have no comment. Jansen went on to say that he and Bador have not gotten back together and insisted they are only friends. It is unclear if the couple, who split late last year after four years of dating, actually managed to meet up before the accident or if Bador smashed her car while taking off after learning Jansen was not home. An Obsession A close source told DailyMail.com Shannon is obsessed with John, she can't get over him, and she was humiliated when he dumped her last November. She now lives a stone's throw from him, literally down the street from him. It's obvious she was at his house or passing by it on the night she was arrested. The area where she crashed her car is not on the route from the restaurant to her house. Jansen is clearly in contact with her as he was spotted arriving at her beachside home before leaving and dropping off a bag of laundry at a nearby dry cleaner's. He went to a local supermarket, coming out with a case of Pellegrino and bags of groceries. He then hurried back to his ex's house, where he spent about an hour inside before leaving and driving back to his house. We, it just kept under wraps for a while, which I was happy about because I needed to process through it. It was a yeah. lot for me. I really had a good time, and I don't know how I would have handled things had I just been sitting at home. I absolutely. I remember there were a couple of days where we didn't connect, but it, the attempt was made. Yeah. I was with her on Friday night, so people are confusing because we were out for Stu's birthday on Friday night at Nobu. Bader was seen on Tuesday for the first time since her arrest as she and Jansen arrived at her home, where he was seen giving her a hand with the front door after the accident reportedly left her with a possible broken arm. Bador was seen wearing a jacket, but her left arm was not in the jacket sleeve and seems to be in a sling. Friends of the reality star have also revealed that the mom of three suffered visible injuries to her face during the collision and has received support from her ex at her home since then. An insider revealed the reality star's face is messed up from hitting the steering wheel after she crashed her car into a house last weekend. A former fellow OC housewife and foe, Kelly Dodd, updated subscribers on Patreon after visiting Bador in their tiny Balboa Peninsula neighborhood of Newport Beach. Dodd, who also lives nearby, revealed an emotional Jansen had answered the door at Bador's home, where housewife Vicki Gunvalson and her boyfriend Michael Smith were also present. But I knew that you were suffering. I knew that you weren't um, completely happy. And I think that she probably has been leaning on alcohol, but I don't believe she's an alcoholic. Let's look at other yeah. people on the right. show this season <laughs> who've been drinking a lot. So I'm happy about that. Um, nobody, aside from Shannon, nobody was hurt in the accident. Shannon speaks up. Shannon Bador has finally spoken out for the first time a month after getting arrested for the incident. I know it's been a while since I posted and there's been a lot of talk about everything that's happened recently. 
The Real Housewives of Orange County star 59 said via Instagram on Tuesday. After the incident, another source gave a rundown of what had happened. Shannon got home from a night out and realized she left her phone at the place she was at. She wasn't able to call an Uber without her phone and decided to drive back to the place, resulting in the accident, the source said. Shannon is devastated and knows she made a big mistake. She has always been against drinking and driving and never does. She's telling friends this lapse in judgment won't happen again. On the other hand, RHOC co-star Emily Simpson gave an update on the reality star. I think she needs space, Simpson said. I feel like we've seen her spiraling. We've had conversations, just as a cast, about her, worrying about her. Sometimes people actually hit rock bottom and take accountability and to have an aha moment where they say, yeah, maybe I do need some help. And I hope that this is her aha rock bottom moment. Shannon continues to take some space and figure out her next steps. So many emotions are going right now. Just, I'm worried. Sorry that, you know, we saw there that maybe she sold her house or she's selling her house and moving yes. to Beverly Hills. Unfortunately, um, she got into a bit of trouble on Saturday night. We were on Celebrity Family Feud with your ex, John. While Bador previously stayed quiet about the incident, her attorney, Mike Fell, shared a statement with Page Six two days after the September 16 arrest. I spent quite a bit of time with Shannon yesterday, Bador's lawyer had announced. She is extremely apologetic and remorseful. We will be awaiting the official information on this case as it becomes available and Shannon is prepared to accept full responsibility for her actions. Meanwhile, her close friend Jeff Lewis confirmed that Bador had been injured in a car accident, but he didn't specify what exactly went down. The radio personality also divulged that Bador is entering counseling this week, but clarified that he doesn't think she's an alcoholic. I think, as her close friend, I think she's going through a lot of personal struggles right now, and I think that she probably has been leaning on alcohol, but I don't believe she's an alcoholic," he said on Monday's episode of his Sirius XM show, Jeff Lewis Live. Undoubtedly, she must be, and we wish her the best. That's all we have for you, folks. Join us next time.